Well, you ask for it, Reagan's rights will give it. Today we'll have an epic head-to-head -to, -head to see which of these crossovers will deserve your hard-earned money. It's pretty much a battle between the ex-girlfriend and the current girlfriend. Why don't believe me guys? Well, Ford used to own Volvo and now Geely owns Volvo. So yes, it's pretty much a battle between the ex-girlfriend and the current girlfriend. And in case you're wondering guys, well, yes, girlfriends own their boyfriends. Don't believe me? Go ask your girlfriend. Over here, we have the performance champion in the subcompact crossover category, the Geely Cool Race Sport, which will take on the newest kid on the block, the larger crossover, which is the Ford Territory Trend. This base model Territory Trend is still quite loaded with a lot of features, so let's see how it stacks up against, well, the current girlfriend. Wait, who's this? Who's this guy? Hey Regan, why don't you include my Gili Ascara in your Comparo? Hey, 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 look guys, it's Jew of Soju Cars! Man, what are you doing here, bro? I just came here to pick up my Gili Ascara for another uh, test review, another car review. Oh, wow! <laughs> well, man, you know what? I'd love to include that in the Comparo, but the price difference between that Ascara and these two budget crossovers is a little bit too big. So how about a future collab video instead? Are you down for that? I'm down for that! Let's do this! <laughs> Alright guys, you know, just, uh, guys, this is my friend Ju and he has a YouTube channel, Soju Cars. He has a ton of in-depth car review videos there. So head over to Soju Cars and give him a subscribe guys. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below on this video. So head over to his channel and give him a sub. So guys, which of these two foxy ladies will win in this Comparo? It's time for us to find out. Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another crossover showdown. In this video, we're going to check out these two crossovers according to their strengths and weaknesses based on our chosen categories. First, we check out the price with the cost of ownership consideration. After that, we check out their exterior looks to see how each crossover would appeal to a particular driver or buyer. Then we head inside and check out the build quality of materials that's used in the cabin. After that, we put them together when it comes to the tech toys and cabin amenities that you can find in each crossover. From there, we head on to the back seat and the trunk space to see the practicality and usable space department. After which, we take both of these crossovers out for a drive just to see what kind of performance they'll give us in terms of driving uh, dynamics and fuel economy. Then after that, we'll have a verdict as to which crossover will be the best one for you. Now, before we begin, guys, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to Reagan's Rides so that I could keep making videos like these. And if you're a subscriber already, thank you so much for spending your time with me by watching this video. It means so much to me, guys, that you're giving this kind of support to Reagan's Rides. Anyway, guys, let's begin the crossover showdown that you've all been waiting for. The Geely Cool Race Sport retails for 1,198,000 Philippine pesos, a literal game changer in the subcompact crossover world. Ever since its launch, the Geely Cool Race has held on to the crown of being the most value packed subcompact crossover that you can buy for your money. But now, the Ford Territory has entered the arena. This base model territory trend right here retails for only 1,179,000 Philippine pesos, which is 19,000 pesos cheaper than the Geely Cool Race Sport. The Ford Territory also has a once a year service interval versus the twice a year that the Geely Cool Race needs to have. So based on the fact that well the territory trend that we have here has a lower entry price point and it also has lesser service intervals, the winner for the price category is the Ford Territory trend. <laughs> Let's go. 
The Ford territory may not be as brawny as some of its other Ford siblings, but against the Geely Cool Ray Sport, that brawn is easily seen. This territory has a lot of design cues that evoke a truly European vibe, similar to the larger Geely Ascara. In fact, the territory and the Ascara look so alike that they could pass off as siblings. However, the rear end of the territory is a little bit on the busy side, and then let's not forget those fake dual exhaust garnishes on the rear bumper. Still, the Ford Territory has that refined look down pat. Well, what can I say? This is my end compare already with the Geely Cool Ray Sport ever since this upstart has challenged a lot of established automotive norms and reshaped the local car industry. This Geely Cool Ray Sport is sporty through and through, from your carbon fiber body kit here to the aggressive hood lines and even to the functional quad exhaust pipes that's found in the rear. And speaking of those quad exhaust pipes, how does that work anyway? The Cool Rays here in the country have three cylinders in its engine, so does that mean that you get like two cylinders on the right exhaust and one cylinder on the left? I really don't know, beats me. <laughs> but anyway guys, the Geely Cool Ray is really brash and uh, feisty looking and it should appeal to a lot of younger buyers out there. Both of these crossovers look good with the Ford Territory sporting that refined upscale look that should appeal to a lot of Titos and Titas of Manila while the Geely Cool Ray Sport has that athletic sporty vibe that will appeal to a younger set of buyers. However, since the Cool Ray Sport has those functional quad exhaust pipes and a more streamlined look, it takes the win for the exterior looks category. It's not a solid win though because the good looks of the Ford Territory almost made it into a tie. It's that close of a battle, guys. Part of the appeal of the Geely Cool Ray was how it gave the consumer so much more amenities inside without charging you an arm and a leg. Prior to its entry into the local market, if you were shopping for, let's say, a car at the 1 million Philippine peso mark, you'd be stuck with, let's say, hard plastics, a urethane steering wheel, and even fabric seats. The Geely Cool Ray gives you leather where it counts. You get a leather steering wheel, you get a leather wrap uh, seats here, and even a leather wrap dashboard. The seats are also power adjustable and they, you also get this really beautiful floating center stack right here in the middle and the use of the faux aluminum brush finish. This is a fantastic decision guys because this will keep the Cool Ray Sports interior looking fresh and really clean moving forward in its life. Now you do get some hard plastics as well in the lower dashboard in the door panels and the quality of the leather that's been used on the seats where it's a little bit on the lower side. But overall guys, the Cool Ray Sport still gives you a lot of compelling amenities inside the cabin for its price. Now let's check out the Ford Territory trend and see how its interior and build quality compares to the Cool Ray Sport. When I said that the Territory and the Ascara can be brothers from another mother, I never realized well that it would apply in the interior cabin as well. This uh, interior of the Territory is pretty fantastic and it trumps the Cool Ray Sports cabin quite easily. This base Territory trend gets leather seats and the leather material used is quite decent. In fact, it feels a little bit better than the leather that's been used in the Cool Ray Sport. You also get leather inserts in your door panels, in your armrests, and also on your center dashboard here. If the Cool Ray Sport has a panoramic sunroof, this base Ford Territory trend also has a panoramic sunroof and the sunroof is quite a bit bigger than the ones found in the Cool Ray Sport. Overall, when you look at the cabin materials that's been used in the Ford Territory, you could see that it has a truly premium and sophisticated vibe, even in this uh, base model variant. This is truly a nice place to spend a lot of time in, and having said that, guys, well, the Ford Territory trend takes the win for interior build quality and materials used. <laughs> Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.
The Geely Cool Ray Sport is a tech monster, and if you watch one of my previous videos of the Cool Ray Sport, you'll know exactly why. For such an affordable price point, you get a panoramic sunroof, you get a fully digital instrument gauge display here that changes in design depending on the drive mode you're in. You have a 10.25 inch touchscreen display here that has a 360 degree view camera with a 3D mode and you also have active park assist which allows you to rest your arms and legs while the car parks itself. The front camera of this baby even doubles as a dash cam, so how cool is that? You get an electronic parking brake here and also a lot of safety features and goodies that you could find in pricier vehicles. So yes, the Geely Cool Ray Sport is a tech monster through and through, but the Ford Territory has its own arsenal of tech goodies, so let's see how it compares against the Geely Cool Ray Sport. When it comes to the tech department, the territory trend is like Brian Spilner talking to Dominic Toretto after their first race in the Fast and the Furious. The territory will tell the Cool Ray, dude, I almost had you. To which the Cool Ray will reply, you almost had me? You never had me. You never had your car. <laughs> The territory trend has some tech features here and there, but it really falls short against the Coolray Sport, guys. It has a panoramic sunroof here. You've got a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but not much else. Well, it has six speakers, guys. The Coolray Sport has this other plethora of tech features, but, well, the territory trend will have to make do with a semi-analog uh, instrument gauge display here, and it also has to make do with a rear-view camera instead of a full 360 degree view camera. You also lose the active park assist which we saw in the top spec uh, territory titanium. It's not really found here in the trend. But guys the biggest tear jerker here is the fact that well the, all the windows of the territory trend are not one touch up and down. Not even the driver's side window. I mean what is up with that guys? I mean come on Ford. This is at least something that you could have given the territory trend. Driver's side one touch up and down windows. Man, that is a big tear jerker. <laughs> so anyway, guys, so even if the Territory Trends cabin feels and looks so premium and upscale, it still lacks on the tech department, guys. So having said that, well, the Geely Cool Ray Sport takes the win for the tech features category. The Geely Cool Ray Sport comes into this category as an underdog because, well, it's still a subcompact crossover that's going against the larger Ford Territory, which falls under the compact crossover segment. Having said that, guys, I really wouldn't concentrate much on the difference of the backseat space because, well, of course, it's really a no-brainer. However, the Geely Cool Ray Sport doesn't get rear AC vents here, which is a bit of a bummer, especially since we live in a tropical country. The Cool Ray Sport's backseat space, though, is quite spacious, especially considering that it's just a subcompact crossover. When you go to the trunk, you'll see that the trunk capacity of the Cool Ray is quite decent at 330 liters of trunk space. As you can see, it could easily fit a medium-sized luggage right here. This is even bigger than the trunk capacity of the Geely Azcara, which is at 320 liters. So let's see how it compares against the Ford Territory. The Ford Territory comes in as the sure winner in the space category because, well, this is still a compact crossover. As you can see, you've got a ton of space here. The space is quite commodious and that's what you'd expect from a compact crossover. The Territory Trend also gets the all-important rear AC vents here, which is a huge plus when it comes to the back seat space and comfort for these two crossovers. Now, a large back seat may compromise on the space of your trunk. So let's see what the trunk space looks like. The trunk space of the Ford Territory is way larger than that of the Cool Ray because this baby has 420 liters of trunk capacity. While it's larger than that of the Cool Rays, it's still smaller than other compact crossovers such as the Toyota RAV4, the Honda CRV, or even the Mazda CX-5. But still, since this has a larger trunk capacity and the fact that the Territory Trend has more cabin uh, creature comforts like the rear AC vents in the back seat, well, the Territory Trend takes the win when it comes to the practicality and space category. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
The Ford Territory has the same engine displacement as the Geely Cool Ray Sport, but despite having an extra cylinder, it's still down on power. This baby only has 140 horses and 225 newton meters of torque. It's also the heavier vehicle and it's mated to a CVT transmission. So you already probably know where this is headed. In a straight line, the Territory takes a longer time to build up speed versus the Cool Ray. Now, this baby's fuel economy in the city is the same as the smaller car at 8 kilometers per liter, but the territory doesn't reward you with seat in the pants acceleration like the Cool Ray does. In the highway, that heavier weight could also be felt because the territory can only do 14 kilometers per liter versus the 17 kilometers per liter that the Cool Ray can actually do. Its steering is also on the light side, so care must be taken whenever you're taking corners or even when you're braking. It's clear that the Territory is really built for comfort. It's really more of a comfort cruiser than a speed demon, guys. It really wouldn't be fair to it to expect it to perform aggressively in this drive category because it's really not built for speed. It's like asking a chess master to box with Pacquiao and expecting him to win. Ain't really gonna happen, boys. <laughs> Now, despite the shortcomings of the Geely Cool Race Sport against the territory when it comes to cabin appointments and tech features, it more than makes up for it in the drive. This 1.5 liter turbocharged mill is good for 177 horses and 255 newton meters of torque. Now, add to that that 7 speed wet dual clutch transmission, and you've got a speed monster that can take you to your supermarket in record time. The great thing about this, though, is despite having such a gobs amount of power versus the territory, the Cool Ray still has the same fuel economy figures as that of the bigger car. This baby can do 8 to 10 kilometers in the city, well, 8 to 10 kilometers per liter in the city, and 14 to 16 kilometers per liter in the highway. The suspension also feels more dialed in versus the territory and the steering feedback, well, I love the nice weighted feel of the steering wheel of this, of this Cool Ray versus the territory's really light steering feel. So yes, this uh, suspension is also, well, it's dialed in but it's quite comfortable but it's good to know that in case you need to rush to the toilet, this Cool Ray can run really hard and fast and find you that nice restroom for you to relieve yourself. So the fact that the Cool Ray has better driving performance and a better suspension and handling feel and the same, uh, the same level of fuel economy, guys, the driving performance category goes to the undisputed king of speed, the Geely Cool Ray Sport. Well, in the end, guys, what can I say? Both of these crossovers are awesome, and there's really no clear-cut winner in this Comparo, well, except for you, the consumer or the car buyer. These two crossovers serve two totally different driver personalities that everybody will be happy. The Geely Cool Ray Sport would appeal more to the sporty young buyers who value the tech and the engaging drive. The Ford Territory trend would appeal to young families or those thinking of starting a family because of that ample cabin space and that really comfortable cabin and creature comforts. Well, regardless of what you choose, guys, it all depends on your personality. But whether you go for the Cool Race Sport or the Ford Territory, you really can't go wrong with either of these crossovers. Yare, umuulan na, patay. Woo! Rain, rain. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait, hold on. Who's this? Hmm. Chili Ascara. Hey. Oh. How are you? Ju! <laughs> hey guys, it's so Ju cars! It's. Oh man, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> Who's this guy? Hey, Reagan! <laughs> Why don't you include my Julia Ascara in your Comparo? Well, 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 guys, it's Jew of so Jew cars. I mean, wow, bro, what are you doing here? I'm just here to pick up my Julia Ascara for my other... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>